Hello and welcome to lovely English stories. This story is written for upper intermediate English learners. You can download the PDF transcript of this and other stories on our Patreon page. You can find the link in the description box below. Ready? Let's get started. B2 English Story British Art and Culture Music, theatre and art are important elements of British culture. Many British artists, performers and musicians have influenced people across the globe. Britain's music scene is rich and diverse. From classical music to alternative and pop, there are many musical events and festivals that take place in various venues across the UK every year. Popular venues include Wembley Stadium, the O2 in Greenwich, Manchester Arena and the SEC Centre in Glasgow. Some of the most popular music festivals are Glastonbury, Leeds and Reading festivals, the Isle of Wight festival and Creamfields. These events always attract massive crowds who want to see headlining acts. Most music festivals take place in the summer months due to the UK's chilly weather the rest of the year. Other popular events include the National Eisteddfod of Wales, which is an annual cultural festival that celebrates music, dance, art and performances in Welsh. The Mercury Prize happens every September and celebrates artists from the UK and Ireland. Another huge event on the musical landscape is the Brit Awards. The awards ceremony attracts lots of interest, particularly for the Best British Group, Best British Solo Artist and Best British Newcomer categories. The Proms is a celebration of classical music. It is an eight-week summer season of orchestral classical music. The event takes place across several venues, with the most famous being the Royal Albert Hall. The proms have been organised by the BBC, British Broadcasting Corporation, since 1927. The last night of the proms is broadcast on television, and people pay extraordinary sums to try and gain a place in the audience. Another enjoyable pastime for many Brits is going to the theatre, although in recent years a trip to see a show is becoming increasingly expensive. There are theatres in most towns and cities throughout the UK, they are often seen as an important part of the community. Often they will show local amateur dramatic productions as well as touring professional shows. London's West End is incredibly popular and known across the world, much like New York's Broadway. The longest running play in the West End is The Mousetrap, a murder mystery play written by Dame Agatha Christie. The play's first performance was in 1952. Aside from plays, the West End is home to many musicals, including The Phantom of the Opera and The Lion King. At Christmas time, Many Brits go to see a pantomime at the theatre. This is a typical tradition. Pantomimes are based on fairy stories, such as Jack and the Beanstalk or Cinderella. 
They are light-hearted and fun and usually have some humour in them for the adults in the audience. It is a tradition that a pantomime has a dame. A dame is a woman who is played by a man. Sometimes pantomimes also have animals in them, such as horses, which are played by two actors in a costume. Another theatrical highlight in the UK is the annual Edinburgh Festival. This extraordinary event takes place every August in Edinburgh. Thousands of actors will head to the city to perform their shows to excited audiences. Part of the Edinburgh Festival is The Fringe, which is a showcase of many up-and-coming theatre shows and comedy acts. Many famous comedians and actors start their careers at The Fringe. Another event that many performers look forward to is the Laurence Olivier Awards. This awards ceremony takes place every year in London. There are various categories of prizes, including Best Director, Best Actor and Best Actress. The awards are named after the highly celebrated actor, Sir Laurence Olivier. When it comes to works of art, many famous British artists' work is displayed across the world. Notable British artists include pop artist David Hockney, landscape artist Joseph Turner and artist and sculptor Barbara Hepworth. In the UK, there are numerous well-known galleries such as Tate Britain, Tate Modern, the Scottish National Gallery, the National Museum in Cardiff and the National Portrait Gallery. One of the biggest, most prestigious prizes for contemporary art in the UK is the Turner Prize. It was established in 1984 and is named after Joseph Turner. Each year, four works are shortlisted and shown at the Tate Britain before the winner is announced. Do you have a favourite artist, musician or performer from the UK? Tell us in the comments below. Now, let's go through some of the vocabulary. Notable Notable. If something is notable, it is important and deserving of attention because it is very good or interesting. Numerous. Numerous. Numerous means many. Prestigious. Prestigious is to be admired and respected by people. Alternative. Alternative. If something is alternative, it is different from what is usual. Alternative can also be a choice. Broadcast. To broadcast. To broadcast is to send out a programme on television or radio. Category. Category. A category is a group of people or things that have similar qualities. Classical. Classical. If something is classical, it is traditional in style or form. Comedian. Comedian. A comedian is a person whose job it is to make people laugh by telling jokes and silly or funny stories. Diverse. Diverse. If something is diverse, it is varied or different. Portrait. Portrait. A portrait is a painting, photograph or drawing of a person. Royal. Royal. If something is royal, it belongs to or is connected to a king or queen or a member of their family. Solo. Solo. To be solo is to be alone, 
without other people. We hope you enjoyed this lovely English story and the vocabulary explanations. Get productive and check out our language learning productivity packs on Etsy. You can find the link in the description box below. Thank you for stopping by and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. See you soon.